bring in uh, Congressman Adam Schiff, Democrat from California. Always good to see you, Congressman. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Let me get your reaction to what uh, Kansas Senator Jerry Moran had to say in response to the president's remarks yesterday. The president is mad, and we're going to wait to see the results of another report. Where is the action that takes place necessary to see that our veterans have the care provided in a timely fashion that they earned and deserved? As you just heard Susan say, uh, Dick Durbin this morning on Morning Joe didn't exactly give a, a, a full endorsement to what's going on. Georgia Congressman John Barrow and David Scott have become the first Democrats to call for Shinseki's resignation. What do you make of his status? Is he so damaged at this point, Congressman, he can't effectively oversee the needed changes at the VA? Well, look, uh, the allegations that have been made are incredibly disturbing, uh, just appalling, and we're going to have to get to the, the basis of this. Out what what exactly are the allegations place? at this point? You've seen, I know, the emails that that don't just suggest but show that there was a pattern here. I mean, is are, are you not satisfied that something wrong went on here? Well, look, I think that what we've seen already is pretty damning, but I do think we want to know the full extent of this. Is this something that took place in a few VAs, or is this a systemic problem around the country? Uh, there are also, you know, broader challenges that we're only, I think, scratching the surface of, and that is uh, at the conclusion of two wars, uh, we're going to have an incredible uh, pressing demand for health care uh, for decades to come. Uh, if you look at the Vietnam generation, uh, many of the most intensive needs in the VA did take place for decades after that war. So I think what we're seeing now is really the tip of the iceberg in terms of the stresses and demands on a health care system. So we're going to have to make some pretty dramatic changes. But in terms of uh, accountability and whose head ought to roll, I think we ought to let the full facts come out. And I think there is going to have to be some very uh, difficult, ruthless accountability when this is all over. Well, full facts are what Republicans say they want in this uh, committee that they're putting together on Benghazi. You're among the five Democrats appointed by Nancy Pelosi to the select committee. Uh, you've called this a red herring, a colossal waste of time. You previously said Democrats should boycott the process. So why participate now? Well, listen, I do think this is a, a, a terrible abuse of taxpayer dollars and an abuse of the select committee process. Because we've had so many investigations over and over on this, uh, as you know, Chris, we had a vigorous debate in the caucus about whether we should participate at all. Uh, having had that debate, our leadership made the call, and I think it was a very tough decision uh, that we should have people in the room to make sure that the subpoena process isn't abused, that witnesses aren't abused. Uh, and I respect that call. Uh, and once that call is made, uh, then you go and you implement the decision that the leadership has reached. So that's what we're doing. Uh, if we can help guide this committee to do something constructive, frankly, uh, that would be a service to the country. Uh, and that means directing it to focus on what we can do to protect our people around the world, uh, where are we in the hunt for those who are responsibility, and not allow this committee to become a select committee on talking points or simply a way to uh, make a political attack on the administration. I'm sure, Congressman, you've heard the suggestions, and there maybe we even saw the uh, story in Politico today that says Hillary Clinton allies reached out to House Democrats and aides and encouraging you folks to participate in this Republican investigation. So I'll ask you bluntly, is the main role for you and other Democratic committee members to protect Hillary Clinton? No, I think the main role for Democrats is to make sure that this committee doesn't become a circus and a mere fundraising vehicle for the GOP, but that it serves some valid purpose and to try to keep this thing from going completely off the rails. Uh, if the Republicans are truly interested in learning something from Benghazi, uh, in learning how we can improve our security, if they're truly interested in bringing to justice those responsible, we will work with them. Uh, if they're simply interested in trying to embarrass the administration uh, or fabricate conspiracy theories or go after a likely Democratic nominee for president, we will fight them. Uh, but it is my hope that uh, as they profess, they will try to do something constructive. Congressman Adam Schiff, it's always good to have you on the program. Thanks, Thanks so Chris. much.